One of the disadvantages of being high in agreeableness is that you're more likely to be a target for disagreeable types. And so agreeable people are very generous and kind and they're not backstabbing and they're empathetic and they're self-sacrificing. And, yes. and, but there have been computer simulations, very sophisticated computer simulations by evolutionary biologists of what happens if you get agreeable people together. So imagine you have a population of people and all of them are agreeable. Yes. And so they're cooperating away. It's all very kind and nice. But if you put one person in there who has psychopathic traits, yes. he just takes over everything. Yeah. And so the agreeable people always have the problem of how do you handle free riders, cheaters, and psychopaths? Right. And you know, you might be utopian and say, well, those people just don't exist and they shouldn't exist and we shouldn't structure our societies that way, but that ain't going to cut it because no. psychopaths are always 3% of the population.